Revolution just dropped Character Creator 5 and it's a massive upgrade from CC4. But here's the real question. Does it finally rival MetaHuman or is it still playing catch up? Let's break it down. In this video, I'll cover what's new in Character Creator 5 compared to CC4 and then stack it up against Unreal's MetaHuman. By the end, you'll know exactly which one fits your workflow, whether you're making cinematic characters, game ready assets, or just experimenting with the latest tools. Let's start with the upgrades. HD Character Bases. CC5 gives you up to 16 times more mesh details thanks to the new submission levels, such as HD Character Bases with subdivision support, dynamic material adjustments that bring natural skin color variations to life, Enhanced skin realism in close-up renders with cavity maps and up to 8K resolutions, and a next-gen facial animation system. Here are more exciting features to look forward to, including detailed HD morphs that capture subtle feature variations across a wide range of body types, additional wrinkles and body presets that faithfully portray the depth and complexity of aging. Basically, faces and bodies look insane in close-ups. Next level, skin and eyes. We're talking about AK textures, pores, wrinkles, displacement maps, plus brand new realistic eye shaders with tear ducts and layered lashes. Actor Mixer. This is the new tool that lets you blend up to six different characters or faces non-destructively. That pro version even lets you randomize and build unique looks instantly. Facial animation profiles. Extended plus and HD profiles give way better control over mouth, eyes, and subtle expressions. A full upgrade in facial mocap quality, delivering highly responsive, non-linear talking animation, and refined exaggerated facial movements. Whether you're using an iPhone or AccuFace, CC5 HD characters are now fully compatible with MetaHuman facial animation tools. You can even bring MetaHuman facial animations from any source into CC and iClone with ease. Refine facial expressions in iClone using the same facial control interface and enjoy the creative freedom of character creator for realistic humans, stylized cartoons, or anything imaginable. Finally, matching what MetaHuman does inside Unreal. To power the Unreal pipeline, we're introducing a next-gen workflow fully compatible with UE4, UE5, MetaHuman, and UEFN skeletons. CC characters now feature 10 added bones and bind pose alignment, streamlining the retargeting process for Unreal animations. We've also made a fully compatible hand skeleton for optimal gesture control. All CC characters will be ready for Unreal game controls with motion matching right out of the box. Pipeline upgrades. CC5 integrates more smoothly with Unreal, Blender, ZBrush, Maya, and Marmoset. So whatever your workflow is, it just got easier. And here's the short version. CC4 capped out at 4K textures. CC5 pushes to 8K. CC4 morph system felt limited, but CC5 adds HD morphs and corrective sliders. No actor mixer in CC4, but in CC5, mixing characters a native feature. And integration. CC5 is designed to work seamlessly with MetaHuman rigs and Unreal Sequencer. So yeah, CC5 is basically CC4 on steroids. Now here's the fun part. How does it stack up against MetaHuman? Share strengths. Both new deliver super high fidelity meshes, realistic skin and eyes, and they share compatible skeleton and facial rigs inside Unreal. CC5 wins in flexibility. You can blend characters, scope in ZBrush, render in Blender, or move to Maya. Character Creator 5 expands your workflow possibilities with the Auto Setup plugin. This plugin enables you to send characters or assets directly to major 3D DCC applications, including game engines like Unreal Engine and Unity, as well as industry standard tools such as Maya, 3D Studio Max, Blender, and ZBrush. It also supports versatile look development and rendering workflows with tools like Marmoset Toolbag. By automating repetitive import processes, the plugin saves significant time. It also provides tools to streamline shader assignments and character setup, ensuring seamless compatibility across all pipeline stages. You own your assets and aren't locked into Unreal's ecosystem. But MetaHuman wins on cost. It's free, but tied to Unreal licensing. CC5 is paid, and some of the best features come with extra bundles. So the trade-off is clear. MetaHuman equals free, but locked. 
CC5 equals paid but flexible. I also have a launch bundle and the launch bundle is currently offering creators character creator 5 plus the brand new Actomixta Pro that comes with HD ultimate morphs, high definition human anatomy set and core libraries that includes over 40 high definition scanned head shapes and textures across 4 ethnicities which includes Asian, Caucasian, African and Middle Eastern. They can now simply go ahead and grab these with this current launch bundle as purchasing these individually might cost you quite a lot but with this bundle you have a full-fledged professional grade suit capable of helping you generate hero characters ready for any production environment quickly here's a quick question for you do you think cc5 finally makes character creator relevant again or is meta human still unbeatable drop your thoughts in the comments i'm curious to see what side you're on if you found this breakdown helpful, hit that like button. It really helps this channel. For more Unreal Engine and dev content, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next deep dive. And hey, if you want me to integrate CC4 to Unreal Engine, click to the video to the left. Till next time, dev heads.